listeners, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. By the name of Allah, we start. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. The question now, after talking about uh, the attention and care uh, about Sahih al-Bukhari in Morocco, how did Sahih al-Bukhari reach Morocco? And uh, there are a lot of studies, but briefly, we would say that Al-Qadi Abu Al-Walid, Sulaiman ibn Khalaf Al-Baji, remember this name Al-Baji, one of the greatest scholars and minds the Muslim Ummah ever produced, died year 474. He traveled to the Middle East and he stayed in Mecca for three years. And he took Sahih al-Bukhari from Abu Dhar Abd ibn Ahmad al-Harawi, who died year 434. Abu Dhar al-Harawi took Sahih al-Bukhari from three students of Al-Firabri, Al-Mustamli Abu Ishaq, Al-Kushmihani Abu Al-Haytham, and Ibn Hamouya al saraqsi So that's the Isnad. This is why you find copies of Sahih al-Bukhari in Morocco, sometimes mentioning that this is a narration of Abu Dhar al-Harawi. However, this Isnad developed later. Uh, one of the main students of Al-Baji was Al-Qadi Abu Ali al sadafi a great muhaddith. He taught Sahih al-Bukhari 60 times. And his copy of Sahih al-Bukhari is a great treasure, was actually in existence till a few decades uh, ago. And his main student is his son-in-law, Abu Imran Musa ibn Sa'ada, who died after year 522. Now, Abu Imran wrote a copy of Sahih al-Bukhari with his own hand, year 492. This is known as Ibn Sa'ada's copy. That's the copy which the Moroccans, uh, scholars, students, scribes use to write copies to teach Sahih al-Bukhari. Hafiz Abdul Hayy al-Kattani authored an epistle explaining the history of this uh, Nuskha copy of Ibn Sa'ada. And uh, Abu al-Mahasin al-Fasi, a great scholar from the Fasi family, towards the end of the 10th century, wrote with his own hands a copy taken from this Ibn Sa'ada's copy. Ibn Sa'ada's copy, by the way, existed in Morocco for quite a long time. And till now, they still have three volumes of it in the public uh, library of Rabat. Uh, this is a great treasure. You can imagine a copy of Bukhari, full copy written, 490. Two. However, from that copy, Abu al-Mahasin Yusuf al-Fasi had his own copy. This is known as al-Shaykha, the mother copies of all other copies. It is in five volumes and it is also preserved and kept in Morocco. And Allah honored me also of having one of the rarest copies of Sahih al-Bukhari, three volumes written by Abdul Qadir ibn Ali Abu Saud al-Fasi, written year 1042, amongst few other volumes, approximately 30 volumes and copies of Sahih al-Bukhari in my library. I Pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you all for following up and uh, inshallah uh, we meet again for uh, another episode uh, on Sahih al-Bukhari. <laughs>